Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Stories. St. Lucia receives its much anticipated shipment of AstraZeneca COVID 19 vaccines. The 758 Care Alert app is now ready for use. And government has increased access to funding for mitigating the socio economic impacts of COVID 19. St. Lucia has turned another major corner in the national response to COVID-19. The island has received its much-anticipated AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine from India. More in this report. A regional security services aircraft touched down at the George F. L. Charles Airport Monday morning, stocked with 25,000 doses of the Covishield vaccine produced in India. The Serum Institute of India, one of the world's largest vaccine producers, is producing Covishield, developed by AstraZeneca PLC. St. Lucia is among 49 countries in the Caribbean, Latin America, Asia and Africa to receive, mostly free of charge, the AstraZeneca under the Government of India's Vaccine Friendship Program. The initiative assists poorer countries in gaining access to vaccines. India has distributed 22.9 million doses under the program. Madhu Asnani, who represented the Indian High Commission, says the government of India is committed to using the country's high-tech biopharma infrastructure to serve and protect humanity. As a result, India has so far conducted over 215 million COVID tests with an impressive recovery rate of 97.14%. And fatality rate of only 1.4 percent. As is well known, India has been supplying affordable and low-cost generic drugs to millions of people across the globe, and has come to know to, to be known as pharmacy of the world and producer of choice for vaccines. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown that India can not only innovate, but also rapidly distribute time-sensitive, crucial drugs to every part of the globe that needs it. In tune with its philosophy of the whole world is one family. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney, in receiving the shipment, expressed gratitude toward Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his continuous, tangible support for St. Lucia and the rest of CARICOM. And this level of commitment and more importantly sincerity he has certainly gained a very special place i believe in the hearts and the minds of all of us in caricom because his have not just been words but he has continuously supported his commitment with action whether it be from climate change whether it be from negotiations at the world bank and the imf and at the g Seven, he has been a voice that we can count upon. This donation of vaccines will significantly strengthen the national COVID-19 vaccination campaign. The administering of vaccines in St. Lucia began on Wednesday, February 17, 2021, and for the past two weeks it has been focused on vaccinating those who are at the highest risk of being exposed to the virus, that is, healthcare workers in clinical settings, first responders, security service personnel, and other frontline workers. All of these personnel are within Phase 1A of the vaccination program and as such were given first priority for receiving the vaccine. This week, the national COVID-19 vaccination campaign will continue with frontline workers and Phase 1B will also commence. In Phase 1B, people who are 65 years and older Residents of elderly homes and people living with chronic health conditions will be vaccinated. As such, phases 1A and 1B will be taking place at the same time. Like Dominica and Barbados, St. Lucia is sharing its doses with Grenada, which was not included in this current batch of donated vaccines from India. Antigua gave 5,000 of their allocation. St. Kitts and Nevis gave 2,000. St. Vincent gave 5,000 and St. Lucia has given 5,000. So of the 25,000 that we've received today, 5,000 of them will be set aside and will be delivered to Grenada tomorrow. And that is to say that there are more vaccines on the way. 
In the coming weeks, vaccination will be extended to the thousands of Senusians who have registered for the COVID-19 vaccine. Announcements of this shall be made by the Ministry of Health of the schedule of these other phases in preparation for commencement. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting. More advancements are being made in St. Lucia's management of the pandemic. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is improving its response to COVID-19 with the introduction of a new digital tool in the fight against COVID-19. The 758 Care Alert app is now ready for use. Acting National Epidemiologist Dr. Dana da Costa Gomez says St. Lucia is now on par with the rest of the world in harnessing digital technologies to support the public health response to COVID-19. Contact tracing is the cornerstone of preventative medicine and a public health strategy in reducing the rate of transmission of a disease. However, the conventional method is a laborious process, time-consuming, can quickly overwhelm a health system with an increase in case incidence, as is being experienced at the moment. Heavily dependent on the confirmed cases memory, recall capability, physical status, honesty, and up-to-date phone records. 758 Care Alerts will provide an avenue where we, public health officials, can more accurately get information on the contacts of confirmed cases. The app has two components, a mobile component and a web-based tool. Once the mobile component is downloaded on the user's phone and the GPS is turned on by the user, all the locations which the user has visited in the past 14 days will be recorded on the user's phone. The user, if confirmed, can then submit the location data to the health authorities by pressing the submit button of the application. The app reduces the risk of privacy violations as there is time-limited storage of data on the user's own device and requires the user's consent to share the data. The location data is submitted to the web-based component held by the health authorities or contact tracers. This allows for a more efficient interview of the confirmed case and creates an anonymous map of public places and times where they have been. This app will improve contact tracing activities by allowing public health officials to more efficiently identify exposed contacts, communicate and advise them on testing and quarantine. For this app to produce the desired results, it is necessary that all St. Lucians download the app to allow for effective contact tracing should one be confirmed with COVID-19. The app can be downloaded from the Apple or Google Play Store by searching for 758 Care Alert. On Sunday, February 28, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness reported one COVID-19 related death, bringing the total number of deaths in country to date to 36. The deceased is a 90-year-old male from the Viewfort District with underlying medical illnesses who passed away whilst in care. The related death came on the same day that 103 individuals recovered from the disease. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has approved three antigen tests for use in St. Lucia. They are the Fora COVID-19 antigen test, the Abbott Pan-Bio COVID-19 antigen test, and the SD Bioscience Standard Q. Astrid Mondesi is the drug inspector in the ministry. The rapid antigen tests are approved for use under the following circumstances. As a pre-screening tool for symptomatic persons and contacts, for persons traveling to the United States. Private labs must request permission from the Department of Health and Wellness through the Chief Medical Officer to perform rapid antigen tests. The following laboratories are designated to carry out the polymerase chain reaction PCR tests. That is the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Owen King EU Hospital and the Forensic Science Laboratory. To perform antigen tests, the following labs, Laboratory Services and Consultations Limited, Microlab Inc., Global Clinical Laboratories, Descart Laboratories, and Alpha and Omega Laboratory Services. All positive results must be reported to the Epidemiological Unit on a daily basis. Tests should be procured from manufacturers who work under a quality management system. Suppliers' recommended procedures must be strictly followed. 
The Department of Health and Wellness will be monitoring and evaluating test activities. The use of rapid tests which are not authorized by the Department of Health and Wellness is discouraged. Importation and queries of rapid antigen tests will be addressed by the Department of Health and Wellness for the Office of the Drug Inspector. That was Drug Inspector Astrid Mondesi. St. Lucia is positioned to have increased access to funding for the management and mitigating the socio-economic impacts of COVID-19. Parliament has approved the borrowing of 30 million U.S. dollars from the International Development Association to finance the COVID-19 Response, Recovery and Resilience Development Policy Program. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, the Honorable Alan Chastney, says the funds would go towards addressing the many challenges posed by COVID-19. The negative impact on St. Lucia's productive capacity, public and private sectors, is directly correlated with the performance of the fiscal accounts. Our fiscal space has been constrained by the low performance of central government revenue and increased public health care expenditure. This limits the extent to which policy measures can be adopted to provide adequate stimulus to cushion shocks from the current economic downturn. Mr. Speaker, this policy-based loan is underpinned by prioritized structural reform measures agreed with the World Bank on the IDA 19 Sustainable Development Financing Policy. This program supports the government's actions to recover the economy from the short-term impact of COVID-19, especially in relation to the health sector, and continue to provide relief to vulnerable households and businesses. The program also seeks to build cross-sectoral resilience through the strengthening of public sector governments and provide the impetus for private sector participation in the overall economic recovery. The COVID-19 Development Policy Program is expected to leverage government's efforts in three primary areas. Protecting lives and livelihoods in response to COVID-19. This will be achieved by continuing to focus on structural measures and interventions that will strengthen the social protection system for the most vulnerable. Two, ensuring business continuity and strengthening resilience. This com component will focus on our current efforts in saving jobs as well as the strengthening the support to their fishery sector through the implementation of the insurance mechanism, Caribbean Oceans and Aqu Aquaculture Sustainability Facility, COAST. In relation to business continuity, additional liquidity support will be made available to medium, small and micro enterprises as we work towards economy-wide recovery. Legislative reforms, the third area will focus on supporting reforms in the areas of public financial management, public procurement, as well as the improvements of public debt transparency and public debt management for the post-crisis recovery. With the view of saving lives and preserving livelihoods, the government of St. Lucia, since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, has embarked on several initiatives channeling significant resources in that regard. Prime Minister Honorable Chastney noted that these included initiatives identified in the Social Stabilization Program and the Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan, as well as the initial health response. Some of these initiatives are expected to continue into the new fiscal year and will require significant financial outlays. The sharp increase in positive COVID-19 cases has increased the pressure on an already fragile health sector. Despite the sector benefiting from significant donor financial and technical assistance, a huge deficit still remains. The sums expanded, expended in retrofitting and outfitting the respiratory hospital and clinics, rental of premises to serve as isolation and quarantine facilities, and the increased capacity for testing significantly impacted the government's financial resources. Mr. Speaker, the DPC will finance both capital investments as well as current expenditure in 2021-22 budget. It will not only support the containment of the spread of COVID-19 among the citizens, but will undergrid the economic recovery of our economy. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Shastney speaking in Parliament February 23, 2021. The St. Lucia and Martinique Medical Fraternity joined forces to combat COVID-19. More in this report from Funnel Neptune. The Owen King European Union OKEU Hospital recently welcomed a donation of medical supplies 
and a team of medical practitioners from the neighboring island of Martinique. This initiative is expected to assist St. Lucia's efforts at treating patients diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus. Medical Director of the OKEU Hospital and the Victoria Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, expressed her gratitude towards the medical staff of the French department. From last week, we received one of the physicians, Dr. Hussein Medawi, who is the head of ICU in University of Martinique. He came across last week to assist us with the management of COVID-19 cases. Today, we have another physician who is, or has always been working with us, Dr. Dabor Razier. And he's come across not only with himself and a team, but he's brought across medical supplies um, so that we can help or care for our patients with COVID-19 um, illness. A member of the medical team from Martinique, Dr. Dabor Rizet, displayed his sense of obligation to St. Lucia in its time of need. The University Hospital of Martinique is uh, uh, pleased to be able to assist the people of St. Lucia, uh, especially in, this, in the time of need. Uh, it is a continuing, uh, continuing medical education, education uh, which has been ongoing for uh, the past, for, for decades, we can say. So um, I look forward uh, during my week here uh, to uh, maintaining uh, medic uh, continuing education, medical education, training uh, to professionals of St. Lucia and we welcome them to, to, to come to our university hospital. Over the coming weeks, medical practitioners from the Owen King EU Hospital and the Victoria Hospital will receive additional training on the management of COVID-19 from the Martinique medical team. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Quayol. It's here, the Bio Intelligence Bio Button, an innovation to the Ministry of Health's approach in battling COVID 19. The Bio Button is a state of the art device. It supports people keeping regular checks of signs of possible COVID-19 infection while placed in home quarantine. It monitors temperature, heart rate, and respiratory rate. It is very simple. Just link it to your smartphone and place the button on your chest. It's that easy. The bio button costs only 100 US for the 14-day period. For further information, please contact the Epidemiology Unit at 468-5325 or 468-5324. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle a Quayol. Merci au temps, Janel. Monsieur, Madame, Departement qui nous responsable de pour formation à gouvernement cette ci GIS, à la télévision nationale pays à NTN, qu'a vous êtes une nouvelle à Coyol, présenteur Primus Hutchinson. Cette ci présentement, j'ai officiellement sorti à son liste pays qui peut être suivre la coopération et le système de taxes à la loi de l'Europe. C'est le six sorti à sous le sala depuis le 15 février 2021. Puis c'est le six premier trouvé à sous le nouvel sala en mois de décembre 2017. Mais puis il a trouvé un petit soulagement à sous le sala en mois de euh, l'année 2018. Ça c'est après le gouvernement qui a fait un commitment pour adresser toutes ces faiblesses que le groupe Europe a découvert les venus pour le secteur international des business. C'est l'année qui passe. Le gouvernement s'est laissé travailler sérieusement pour établir établi toutes ces nécessités que l'Organisation Europe a demandé, il a été une discussion et puis plusieurs agences internationales. Excellent Premier ministre Honorable Alain Chasney, l'exercice de cela est formidable, mais quand même, les autorités travaillent web pour qui s'est laissé sortir en bas de la salle à ces années qui passent. Le gouvernement a engagé en plusieurs actions pour faire ça en réalité, par exemple, Implémentation, législation nouveau pour établir un arrangement neuf pour législation qui déjà existait. 
tous ces changements là étaient très nécessaires pour vous trouver une considération qui est favorable par les liens Europe. C'est vrai que nouveau ça là, qui s'est déjà implémenté, qui a placé le pays à adéquer les services du secteur financier international. Parce que cette ci à présent, j'ai tiré toutes ces taxes qui étaient à sous compagnie, qui a opéré un pays à, alors il ça opéré un pays cette ci même et aussi un pays international. Depuis ces compagnies là suivent ces nécessités, ça c'est une nécessité économique à baluer cette ci. Premier ministre on a parlé de chasse déclaré que il tue plein et puis groupe et technical à cette ci qui travaille si tellement ouais, particulièrement les officiers hard ministre des finances et aussi ces agences compagnies internationales et l'autre qui engage à business salar. Premier ministre Chasne dit aussi et qu'a avoué ouais réformation qui vraiment car à ces circonstances, pays cette ci mais quand même, ça qui j'ai fait déjà, c'est en route, en direction ça là. Département des affaires les étrangères, récemment, vous suivez une grande quantité d'articles médicaux pour l'association et club caribé de la Martinique. Département a accepté ces cadeaux ça là à ce côté ministère de santé, parmi ces articles là, c'est chaises à roule, bateau pour aider mon marché primaire et que l'autre morceau article pour aider à faire ce salat. Assistant secrétaire par moi, le département des affaires des étrangères, à cette ici, Guillaume Simon, est très appréciable pour déguer assistance charitable à Martinique, comme ce n'est pas la première aide qui sortit de l'organisation salat qui habite à pays français. Selon Simon, le club Carbé, j'ai fait une présentation comme ça avant pour le gouvernement de cette ci et principalement pour le ministère de santé. Alors, le ministère, ministère de santé et le gouvernement de santé apprécient tout bonnement ce service là et ni a plus de gratitude pour le club Caribé Hot Martinique et les représentants des conseils de santé en pays Martinique pour continuer à aider pour assister à la bataille contre la maladie Corona. Madame Alison Jean Hot, ministère de santé, aussi remercie le club et le club Caribé pour ses assistants charitables là parce que ce n'est pas la première fois qu'il a assisté à cette ci J'ai déclaré que ces chers aoules là et l'autre article qui a aidé autant pour soulager la situation des institutions de santé pays là. Ces chers aoules là pas que seulement pour ces wellness centers, mais aussi pour l'autre agence qui a dépend à ce support du ministère de la Santé. Ces officiers qui ont cru que la maladie de Corona a renforcé des grandes corporations et des bons amis en cette ci et puis, Martinique. Le ministère des Affaires, Commerce, Affaires des Consommateurs, j'ai organisé une compétition de production vidéo, commencé le 22 février 2021, pour le 5 en mois de mai 2021, pour la publicité pour le grand spectacle de la 2e anniversaire de la 2021. La compétition, c'est pour aider, improuver et faire les consommateurs plus au courant et aussi pour augmenter à ce produit local à ce la place pays cette ci ministère ka koeki confiance et ni confiance qualité activité comme ça ka aider les consommateurs pour développer un plus fort latéré oui, pour service pour service qui ka produit à cette ci même compétition c'est pour ces participants à produire une vidéo qui ka durer pas plus que 42 secondes pour montrer leur grande quantité de produits locaux. Vidéo année pour montrer aussi le logo Love Saint Lucia. Ces participants ont pour placer vidéo à sa page Facebook Ministère des Commerces et tag Love Saint Lucia et tag Commerce Saint Lucia. Dernier jour pour voir vidéo ça là, c'est le 12 avril 2021, pas plus tard que 4 heures après-midi. Premier prix, c'est 3 000 dollars. Deuxième prix, c'est 1 000 dollars. Et troisième, c'est 600 dollars. Là, nous avons pris bonus pour la vidéo qui nous garde plus. Information pour trouver plus d'informations, vous avez contact et puis Cindy Eugene à l'IMO 285-1156 et bien Cindy.Eugene à GOP.LC. Et c'est comme ça nous avons trouvé nouvelle nouvelle, mesdames. Je vous remercie autant pour que vous avez gardé mon invitation. Je vous remercie encore si vous conservez la vie et vous avez pris Nouvelle à Koyol. Après ça, vous avez présenté au Chanel. Merci à Pil Primus.
And that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am General Norvell.